Hello friends, welcome to Noah Bio. So we will learn about RAPD, which is a, another technique in genetic markers. So RAPD stands for Random Amplified Polymorphic DNA. As the name suggests, random. Okay. What does that implies? Random means it doesn't require any prior knowledge of sequence. So primers which we use, they will randomly bind to the DNA or a template where it is going to attach and amplify and extend. So it doesn't require prior knowledge. That is very much important. Now, a primer which we have, it doesn't have a forward and reverse primer. Unlike in PCR, in PCR we need to have a forward primer and reverse primer. RFID doesn't require forward and reverse primer. Okay. Now, the primers will be 10 mers. So that is a major difference between PCR. So PCR generally your primers are of size 18 to 25 base pair or 30, up to 30 base pair. And over here it is only of 10. Okay. What is the example we have? Bacterial genotyping. So how we can use RFID over there? Take out the species from various countries and then amplify them using RFID. Primer, okay. the primers which are under RPD technique. Now, if a complementary region is present in your that particular species DNA, then only it will get amplified and it will give you a pattern on a gel. If that region is not present, which is complementary to the specific primer which are under uh, RPD, it will not amplify because complementarity was not there. So this is how you can use it for genotyping this RPD technique. So that is the example of it. There are limitations, every technique has a limitation. We will see limitation. PCR cycling conditions. PCR cycling conditions plays pivotal role in this particular technique. If your PCR conditions are not good enough, are not satisfactory, every time RFID results will not be reproducible. And that will be a hurdle to understand which result was correct. Now, lab conditions are very much important. So, according to lab to lab variation, in every technique, we see we need to standardize few things. So over here also we will need to condition standardize according to the lab condition. Now, the third and most important thing in this, if there is a mismatch between the primer and a template, okay, if there is a mismatch between a primer and a template where it is going to attach and then amplify, okay, then it will either produce no template DNA like uh, no amplified product at all or it will produce little bit of product. So it is very much confusing to interpret whether the amplified product is correct or it is wrong. Okay. So this was about RFPD which is random amplified polymorphic DNA. So please like share and subscribe for more such videos and do let us know if you want us to make any video on any particular technique.